Hi, it's Maria. And I need to apologize first off for the noise that you're going to hear doing this vlog because there, my nieces and nephews are over and there are seven children and one baby in the house, so it's a little loud. I wanted to talk about um, being morbidly obese. And I do not want to be known as morbidly obese. I know this is really weird, but I worry about when I die on the autopsy report, it's going to say that I was morbidly obese. And I know that I shouldn't even be worried about that since I won't be alive, but um, when my cousin Anna passed away, and she was much smaller than I am, um, on her autopsy report she was listed as morbidly obese. And that's not what I want to be known for. My nine-year-old asked me recently, um, Mommy, when am I going to get to see the skinny you that's inside of you? And that was what really clicked in my head and started the, the change that I started to make in the way that I eat and how much I eat and so forth. Um, and I don't really have a whole lot of um, support because uh, my husband likes me the way I am. He doesn't think there's anything wrong with me. I mean, I'm sure that he thinks I should lose weight to be healthy, but as for the physical attraction aspect, he doesn't have a problem with it. And so um, he tells me I'm beautiful, and that makes me feel like an idiot because I don't feel beautiful. And um, I don't know, I just don't want to be fat anymore. I don't want to have to hide in pictures. I don't want to have to hide behind someone. I don't want... Um, my picture should be nothing but face shots. You know, I want to be able to pose with people and not worry about, oh my god, my rolls are showing. And I want to be able to go out in public and if someone's staring at me, not automatically I think, you know, oh my god, they're, they're thinking I'm fat. And I don't want to be like that. Some things that embarrass me about being fat. Um, I don't like to eat at restaurants because, for one, I'm kind of a little bit squished in the booth and I always worry about um, just paranoid that the waiter or the waitress is going to be thinking, why is this lady ordering this when she should be ordering a salad? Um, I don't like to change in front of my husband, uh, which is kind of silly because, after all, he's my husband. When he hugs me, I tend to shift, and by that I mean like, um, you know, if I think he's touching my fat or, you know, when he's hugging me, I, I tend to move around and maneuver where his hands are because I'm embarrassed. And I don't like mirrors. Um, don't like to look at myself in the mirror. Um, if I dress up for church or any reason, I feel stupid. I feel like it's taking something ugly and just slapping makeup on it and that everybody knows it. I try not to get noticed. I don't like to be looked at. Um, and this is really silly. At the grocery store, when I'm buying groceries, if I happen... I don't eat junk food, not anymore. Um, well, I was never really into sweets that much, but if, say, I treat my kids to a box of cookies or something, um, and you know there's people behind you in the line, I tend, I tend to want to put the bad things in the front and get them out of view and then like whatever vegetables or fruits I have, I put them in the back to like fool the person behind me, oh, you know, she's trying to lose weight. I mean, why do I care what they even think? I know that I'm doing something about my weight, but why I care so much about what other people think, I don't know why. I mean, it's not even like I've been made fun of. Uh, nobody's been mean to me or called me names, so I, I don't know why I'm so insecure about it. I wasn't a heavy child. I was thin um, growing up and in high school. And right out of uh, my senior year, I joined the Army Reserves, went to boot camp, was very physically fit. Um, you know, I was in cheerleading. I, I was fairly physically active, so I don't even know how I got to this point, but I'm so far from the person that I used to be, that it's just ridiculous. I lost myself in my fat somewhere. I mean, I, I became this hermit that hides, you know, I, 
don't like to go out, I don't like to see people, I'm on the computer all the time because I'm hiding behind the screen anonymously. And now that I've made um, this account, I'm skinny inside, and I'm starting to get to know people, it's such a relief to know that I'm not the only one that's going through this. And to those of you who have left comments or emailed me, I would like to say thank you because you are an inspiration and you encourage me and for that I thank you.